Richard Kim is the head of design for Faraday Future. And Richard, you've brought a wild concept car here for the show at CES. Explain what you really want set out to achieve from a design standpoint with this car. Yeah. So this is um, this isn't the the first car that we're going to produce mass uh, mass market, but this is a sort of a behind the scenes look at what we were doing in parallel. So you guys get uh, a chance to to see uh, our work in progress and how we like to do uh, experimenting and study and find new new ideas. And uh, this is obviously. Uh, what looks like a monoposto kind of race car. You've worked at Audi, you've worked at BMW. This thing almost looks like part of it was inspired by some of the things that you see at LMP1 at the Le Mans race. Yeah, well, you know, Nick Sampson has a, has a racing background as well. Of course, uh, for high performance, uh, 1,000 horsepower, that, that inspires designers as well. And to do something extreme, uh, emotional, uh, breathtaking, you know, uh, wild and exciting is, of course, uh, an exciting project. Tell us some of the details that you think that you are really proud of of what you achieved on this car. Yeah, well, we're standing here at the front, so um, we like this uh, single headlight. It looks very slim, tech, um, iconic. Uh, even our, our logo is uh, uh, just a backlit illumination. It's not actually like a piece of metal. So everything is integrated, you know, like a tablet or something. Um, and then from, not from where we're standing, but if you're down at the ground, you can see there's two aero channels, these two aero tunnels uh, allow airflow to, to, to move effortless, effortlessly through the car. Also cools down the battery, of course, uh, provides longer range. So very cool, uh, very uh, unique features that engineers and designers um, have wanted to achieve for a long time. This, this air going, going through the two tunnels inside the car, is that more from a downforce standpoint or are you picking up aerodynamic uh, efficiency as well as cooling the batteries? It's, it's all of the above, yeah. So instead of air trying to go around and, and navigate uh, across the car, it just goes straight through it. Okay, other details. What else do you like that you've done here? Yeah, well, we can also talk about our tow hook. Our tow hook illuminates. Um, we have, uh, this is all carbon fiber. You know, lightweight materials are, are critical for, for electric cars, and we need to be lightweight, therefore, uh, uh, to obtain more range. You've also got a completely clear canopy. I know, again, that this is from a concept standpoint, but there's even talk of now Formula One going with some sort of canopy, IndyCar too, from a protection standpoint. Was that some of your thinking, or why'd you go with the clear canopy? Well, the, the clear canopy, for us, it showcases the interior. You know, the interior is beautiful. It's the, it's the, the diamond in the, in, the, in the box. You know, you open it, and, and it just really sings. This, uh, this interior has... Um, one seat, but is very much related to our first production car from a design DNA standpoint. Uh, our first production car will have more than one seat, I promise you. Uh, but from an overall feeling, from the, the emotion, from the, the, the materials and geometry, uh, you will see that in our future product. You know, it's gutsy for a startup company like this to put such an effort into a concept car. It's beautifully turned out. You put a lot of effort into it. Why step forward first with a concept car like this and not something that's more uh, akin to what you're going to have running down the assembly line? Uh, we still have a couple years until that first production car is out on the road. And, and we're not going to show you all our cards uh, so early. This is, a, this is the, the first course of a, a, a 20 course tasting. <laughs> I mean, it, it, please be patient. We will show you a lot of cool things. Uh, this is just a little something that we did on the side, and it happened to be um, a great uh, 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 timing coincidence with CES. So we wrapped it up and we, you know, showed you, hey, this is a behind-the-scenes look at some of the stuff we work on, uh, on top of uh, you know the several other cars that we're working on that we will also show you soon. You mentioned the seat, but is there something here that you would say other than uh, the logo of the company that? gives a flavor or a feeling for what the production cars might be like. Yeah, this kind of the overall uh, sense that this isn't a typical car, you know, this is a this is a portal or some sort of uh, spacecraft. You know, we like that. You know, it does have a sci-fi feel to it, but we appreciate that. If you look at our VPA technology, our variable platform architecture, and you see how progressive it is, I think that the exterior and the interior and the design, the experience should be just as progressive. It should be 
you know, expressive and, and say, hey, I'm from the future. And having this modular chassis as it was, or a chassis that can take different body styles, it's got to really appeal to a designer like yourself. Right. It's, it is a designer's dream. Uh, it does keep us busy, extremely busy. You know, when our first car is done, actually, uh, in the design phase, it's, it's pretty much completed, and we're already, no break, we're working on the next car. Yeah. Does it worry you, though, in a sense that because you've got so much flexibility as to what you can do with it, that you don't get totally distracted by all the different permutations and you make sure that you really nail the right one. Yeah, that's a good point. Um, that's another reason why a study like this is, is critical. You know, we took all of the ideas, the concepts, or some of the, the, the potential ideas and um, wanted to crank the volume, you know, really amplify those ideas. Of course, amplification does end up being like a super extreme race car. And um, it's been a good study. And, and we, we are then going to you know, evaluate what's, what's important for the user, uh, the user and the, the customer's needs. And those ideas will be reflected in our first, second, and so on car. Richard Kim, thanks so much for your time today. Very exciting to see what you're doing. Love Congratulations it. on your effort here. <laughs> Can't wait to see the production versions. Uh, yeah, it's coming. Thank you very much. Keep tuning in, folks. we got a lot more coming from the floor of CES. It's never been a more challenging time to be an automaker. Everyone, it seems, is trying to get into the car game. To stay in business, you need to out-innovate the upstarts and outpace your competitors. You need a partner to help you envision the future and get you there. Mitsubishi Electric can help you build heart-racing, awe-inspiring products with the quality you expect, exactly as designed, faster than you thought possible. We innovate to realize your vision without blowing the budget or slipping the schedule. We help you offer everyone in the car a premium user experience, provide the latest in consumer connectivity, and build systems that integrate ADAS and infotainment without jeopardizing safety or time to market. We are Mitsubishi Electric. You know us for our quality. Get to know us for our innovation.